This first topic is going to appeal to every woman who has either spent some time outside in the backyard in the last couple of weeks or has been staring out of the backyard and thinking, if it looked different, I would. You might be convinced you need new patio furniture until you see this. My first guest this morning nearly worked a miracle just by dusting off her old set. And it set off a chain of events in a very practical patio makeover. We think you can be inspired by all of her great ideas. Welcoming Risa Baker back to Studio 5. It's so great to see you. Thanks, Pretty in purple. This oh, is your color. You. This is thank your color. You. I think a lot of people, Risa, will relate to the challenge of looking at your patio and feeling like you need a pick-me-up every season, which just isn't practical. Well, I walked out there this spring and I wanted to cry. I mean, oh. honestly, my cushions were torn. There was batting poking out. Everything was filthy. It wasn't set up nicely. Yeah. I mean, I didn't want to sit on anything. I didn't want to be out there at all. Like, it kind of... Well, we are hard on these pieces and the yes. weather is hard on these pieces. Yes. I don't care how weatherproof a fabric is, it's gonna look beat up after right. a year in our right. Utah heat. Yeah, you're seeing the photos like, would you wanna sit on that? No. <laughs> so I thought, well, first I thought I'm just gonna <gasps> buy it all new. And then I saw the prices this year. It's insanity so I thought I'm gonna replace these cushions because that looks all new that's right. not all new because no structurally the metal was totally fine all I did was replace cushions the cushions mm -hmm. that, that was it that made the and miracle cleaning. difference mm -hmm. so what is the expected investment for new cushions so the price point that I found that was a good price point for me was 60 to 65 dollars for the set that means the back and the bottom for the whole the piece. The whole piece. And okay. so my blue ones I got from Home Depot and the white ones I got from Walmart and the white ones are holding up better. Really? The water beads and just drips right off. Go Walmart. Mm -hmm. Go Walmart. Mm -hmm. We have some specifics on what you did, but you've come away with several like general ideas of what you liked yes. and what you didn't like. Absolutely. So my number one tip is extend your living space indoor to outdoor. So use the same colors that you use on the inside of your house. Smart. And that way it makes decorating so easy. Smart. So I, one thing I love do is doing is adding rugs. I put rugs down to define the space. So um, in my, in our sitting area, I have two rugs pushed together. Uh -huh. They're $23 a piece from Smith's. I mean, I'm finding stuff all over the so place. So two small rugs two made small, a big yeah, rug. Yeah, rugs pushed together. It looks like a giant rug that I spend a lot on. I mm -hmm. didn't. Mm -hmm. um, and then my other thing is bring that lighting. I am obsessing over lanterns Look this how season. Dreamy. And would you like to know my favorite? Tell me. My favorite thing is remote control candles. Oh, you can just click it. You can click it. Look, I'll show you. So I brought my remote control. You walk outside and you just click it and the ambiance is there created immediately. You feel like Hermione Granger right. Harry Potter. You're <laughs> like, oh, Luminos, what is it? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But um, it, it immediately creates the ambiance. Oh. There's no fire hazard. And these have been outside through rain and sun and they are yeah. just fine. Well, what you've just summarized is what we hear interior designers say all the time. Texture in the rugs. Yes. They always talk about a good rug yes. to ground the space and lighting can make a big difference you've just done that practically in the outdoor space right and then I wanted to talk about um, two more things yeah put your items in a tray because we all know Utah weather can be crazy I live in Farmington we get winds yes so I leave my things out in Sun and even in rain sometimes a little bit of rain but for the winds I want to bring it in so having your items in a tray just makes it easy it's one in, it in the house one out yes I have to ask about this tablecloth okay too. Brooke I have to actually go around and show you this what? this is from Amazon this is not your $5 Walmart tablecloth that's backed with cotton that rips when you move a this plate across nice. it. This is nice. It's fabric, it's so nice. I don't think anything could happen to this unless you took a knife or scissors to it. Yeah, it feels it's, durable. So buy a thick, nice, heavy one. Uh huh. And be sure and pay attention to your eating space too, not just your sitting space. Make your whole thing feel like a kitchen or feel like part of your house. My grandma Jo had one of these that she would always stretch on her like orange uh -huh. picnic table uh -huh. that I think my aunt and uncle got and we're also jealous because awesome. it's like the <laughs> piece of our childhood. But hers yeah. wasn't this cute. This is very lovely. The aesthetic is fresh oh, and modern. Oh, they're so beautiful these yeah. days. There's so many, so many fun, fun options. All right, let's tackle a couple of specific projects that jumped yes. out to us there was a barbecue station yes so my family's grown my kids are bigger we've added people and we aren't having room on our on our table to put all the food so I wanted kind of a buffet table out there to put the barbecue and everything the barbecue food and everything else and um, I also wanted a potting station so you're seeing the the area where it was and the area where it is now <gasps> that's lovely I purchased a tool uh, like a workbench from Harbor Freight for hundred dollars I took off the pegboard on the back and replaced it with a decorative piece of wood from Hobby Lobby. You can see the pegboard there. Okay. And then I hung that piece of wood with magnets 
from Harbor Freight. Like really, really strong magnets. It has withstood the wind and everything else that's come to it. And so that space that was kind of bleh is now just beautiful. I decorated it with terrariums and pots and water spritzers and a watering can. I put tiles on the bottom initially because um, I thought I wanted to do those vinyl sticky tiles. Uh -huh. Well, they stayed out in the rain for a minute and got really gross and yucky. So I decided not to tile the bottom okay. shelf and just, I, I think we saw a picture of the tiles, and just leave it black. Um, and you're seeing now, I also hung the tools with magnets from Harbor Freight. So the, it just, I mean, the utilitarianism, is that, yes, is that the yes. word for this workbench has just been awesome and I plan to use it year after year. To see how you modified, uh, how much did it cost? It was $100. A $100 <laughs> workbench. You've customized it to, to something that looks like I would see in Martha Stewart's garden. Right. I'm not kidding, the detail, the charm, it is darling. I love it and I can't wait to even decorate for the 4th of July or just, you know, do all right. sorts of different things with it. It's oh, it becomes a, a little zone. It becomes it a little does. place for you. All right, there's yeah. one project we haven't even seen yet, a side walkway. Yes, so on the side of my home, I have this darling path with flagstone, and in the springtime, my bleeding hearts bloom. Right now, my hollyhocks, they're taller than me, and they're blooming, and it's the spot that, it's one of my most favorite spots in my yard. We're seeing the, the uh, bleeding hearts right now. Dreamy. And I wanted to add some lighting out there. Okay. And when I went to Big Lots, I found these shepherd hooks for, I think it was like $6, and I you thought, are kidding I'm buying them. So I bought them and brought them home and I just lined this path with them. But then when I was trying to figure out lighting, lanterns can get expensive. They're spendy. Yeah. I'm in that same shopping right. space right now. Yeah. And I have like 10 of these shepherd hooks and I did not want to drop hundreds right. of dollars on my shepherd hooks. Right. So I came up with a solution. What's happening? You ready? Yes. So I went to Hobby Lobby. This is a coated, I think this is like what a construction worker would use and hook on a stand for lights to protect the light bulb in a workspace. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's coated plastic, which is so awesome. Um, and then it has this gold touch, which I love, which pulls in the colors in my home. Yes. You simply unscrew the little side piece, you get a piece of coated chain. This is uh, 72 cents for a foot, okay. and it's also coated, so it works well. It matches perfectly. Yeah, it matches great. You slide that right in to the slot, okay. and simply uh, screw, screw it closed. So you're closing the screw over yes. the chain. And then the tip I wanted to give about this is that you want to tighten the chain so it's sticking out okay. like this. Like straight Like straight horizontal. out on either side uh -huh. so that when it hangs, the chain is away from the light and not rubbing against What's it. What's the light source? The light source is a solar light. So this oh, is my from goodness. the dollar store. Reset, we're dead, this is amazing. Dollar store, right? So the thing that I like about this the most is you just, you just pop it off and stick it in. But the thing I'm the most excited about is have you ever bought a set of solar lights no. here in your yard? No. Oh, well I have, and one will go out and then you can't get another set to match. And it, I mean, it's just a big mess. Uh -huh. So if all of these don't work next year, I can spend 10 or $15 and get new ones, drop them in the top and it works great. Drop them in the top of your $10 light yeah. frame on your $6 shepherd hook, but lining your walk, you've got a million dollar effect. Right. Oh right. my goodness, yeah, amazing. It's so fun. Amazing. All right, we're gonna see, I think, the finished pictures one more time. Where can we find all of your product links and your how-to? You're breaking this down for so us. So I put a lot of my, um, my how-to and my product links in my Instagram stories. Good. So I've got these already listed in my Instagram stories. I'm at Restless Risa. Restless. Underscore Risa, Risa Baker. Can I just come hang out? <laughs> in your do. dreamy it backyard, so you've created a very practical, as we said, but beautiful space Thank that your you. family can collect and gather in Thanks all season long. Thanks for the inspiration. Restless Risa on Instagram.